Good morning. How exciting is this? I'm, I was just talking to Haley. I'm a little nervous. We, we've not done anything where there's a whole group of people and it's like fantastic. I don't know if you all feel it, but I feel this is like we're getting back to normal. It is a very, very exciting day for all of us. Today we are honoring our soon-to-be graduates who have worked hard to come to this point. In front of you, you have your senior classmates who are about to sign their letters of intent for the next steps of their lives. Some of these students will be attending college, some will be joining the workforce, some will be committing themselves to the, one of the armed forces. Before we proceed with our uh, student speeches, I'd like to acknowledge a few of our students for their academic achievements. And if when I call your name, you'll please stand. First, I would like to congratulate our co-valedictorians, Ashton Davey and Keaton Kinderdine. At the end of the seventh semester, both these young men achieved, achieved a cumulative grade point average of 4.875. That's out of a four-point scale. Please give them another round of applause for this amazing accomplishment. Thank you, gentlemen. Next, I'd like to, you guys can be seated, thank you. Next, I'd like to um, recognize our salutatorian, Zef Sutter. At the end of the seventh semester, Zeph achieved a cumulative grade point average of 4.593. Please give him another round of applause for this accomplishment. And I have not talked to these students in advance, so if you know who you are, please stand when, when, you, uh, when I read this next part. There are 14 other students who achieved a 4.0 or higher. That means they got all A's every quarter, every year of high school. So for those 14 students that received a 4.0 or higher, please stand at this time. You know who you are, come on, stand up there, good job. Thank you. I would also like to acknowledge with great pride those students who have committed themselves to serve our country in one of the armed forces. My son is currently serving in the Mideast and Middle East, and so this is very warm to my heart that you have committed to this very high honor. Please stand if you have already committed or plan to commit soon to one of the armed forces. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. And this is a sacrifice not only for themselves, their families, but it is a sacrifice that we as Americans um, really de depend upon for our rights and our freedoms. So this is very, very, very important. Okay, I guess I've talked enough. Um, we are going to turn it over now to our student speakers. And the first up is Kennedy Priest. Kennedy. <laughs> Hi and good morning. I'm sure most of you already know me, but if you don't, my name is Kennedy Priest. I firstly like to congratulate all the seniors sitting around me. We've all put blood, sweat, and tears to get to where we are at this very second. Secondly, I'd like to thank the administration for giving me the opportunity to speak today. When I first started at West Carrollton, it was my sixth grade year. I was new to the district. I come from Catholic school and I never experienced a traditional public school. Transitioning was hard for me. I didn't have any friends. I didn't know anyone. I'd moved to a completely different part of the city. I didn't know how to fit in. I was honestly scared and intimidated by the rest of my class, but I didn't let that stop me from anything. In sixth grade, I joined concert band where I met Miss B. I was obnoxious, loud, and a comedian. Since then, Miss B's inspired me and pushed me to do so much throughout my past seven years. Color Guard and Winter Guard, where I served as captain for two years, playing the pep band at the basketball games and the school musical, and various of other music-related activities. Being involved in these groups helped me learn time management, made me a, helped me find my best friends, made me a leader, and made me proud to be a part of West Carrollton. 
It is so important to be involved in extracurricular activities, whether it be a club, a sport, or just going out in your community and doing community service. It's the best way to make friends and gives you better opportunities for the future. My transition from middle school to high school is definitely the most challenging for me. I was honestly more unprepared than I thought I would be. I struggled a lot freshman year. My grades and mental health declined. I hung out with the wrong people. I honestly didn't think I was going to graduate. If it hadn't been for my coaches, teammates, teachers, and parents supporting me, helping me, and continuously reaching out to me along the way, I wouldn't be standing up here today. To the underclassmen of West Carrollton High School, I want you to know that if you're having any regrets, whether it be about school, the people you hang out with, or the things you're doing in your community, it's never too late to make a change. And I hope you take one thing from this speech and carry it along with you throughout the rest of your high school career. Also, if you feel you don't have anyone on your team rooting for you, that I'm on your sideline always rooting for you. Before I wrap up my speech, I'd like to thank one more person, Mrs. Lim. In the two years I've known Ms. Lone, I never thought I could admire, respect, and look up to someone more. While probably being one of the best teachers I've ever had, Ms. Lone has been my best friend, a shoulder to cry on, my number one supporter, and a god. Thank you for everything you've done for me, Ms. Lone. I'll truly forever be grateful. I can't wait to tell my kids about the impact you've made on my life. In the fall, I'm planning on attending Bowling Green State University with my best friend. At Bowling Green, I'll be majoring in psychology with a minor in forensics. Following that, I plan to enlist in the FBI as a forensic psychologist. I know you all wish you could hear more of me, but unfortunately I have to wrap things up. Dear class of 2021, thank you for the memories, laughs, and smile we've all shared. You all are truly amazing. We'll forever go down in history. I wish nothing but success for you all in the future. Wherever you go, I wish nothing but peace and positive vibes. Congratulations, class of 2021, and thank you. Hello, my name is Chase Adams. During my time at West Carrollton, I have served as Vice President for the National Honor Society, Head of Engineering and Drive Coach for the Robotics Team, and Captain of the Cross Country Team. Today, I would like to talk about what West Carrollton has meant for me. For the entirety of my life, I have grown up and lived in West Carrollton, starting, out, starting off as a preschooler at the ECC, going to Harold Chanel Elementary, and making my way into high school, I have immersed myself in the culture that is West Carrollton. My grandfather graduated from West Carrollton in 69. My mother, both of my aunts, and my brother are all West Carrollton alumni. When I think of West Carrollton, I think of a small, tight-knit community that will forever serve as my childhood home. When I think of my, West, my fellow West Carrollton graduates, I will think of you much as my own family. Despite our hiccups and the precedence that has been the last year and a half, we are still a family bonded together through our shared experiences. Even though we will go our separate ways, travel the world, and accomplish our own accolades, our home will remain at West Carrollton. At Harold Schnell, a common phrase was, re was repeated at every school day, to have a great day every day. This phrase was used as tradition, but at the time had little understood value. As I reflect upon my time at West Carrollton and the time I will spend over the next four years in college, I can say that this motto had a deeper meaning. We have all had days when getting out of bed, we've questioned our motivation days where our worlds appear to collapse into themselves, days where retreat seems better than to continue onward. As you leave our community, know that with every day, a new world starts. Take every day by accomplishing one task after another. If you wake, <clears throat> if you wake up early and start by making your bed, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another. You will find that by getting into this routine, your willingness to accomplish more will increase, and the mood of your days will improve as you gain satisfaction from your work. And if by chance the day turns out to be against your odds, know that at least by the end of it, you will have a neatly made bed waiting for you at home. As you leave today, take this final word of advice. Make the best out of every day no matter the events that occurred, and look towards each other for support to kindle and foster, <clears throat> foster a spirit of family. I want you to think of this phrase whenever you doubt what you can do after you wake up every morning. If ever you struggle with achieving more, think of West Carrollton. Think of the friendships and relationships you have built here. Think of the potential you carry to do so much more than you already have. Let this motivate you in your careers and in your pursuit of happiness. Should you face a challenging situation, don't be afraid to turn to your family at West Carrollton for support and be confident in all that you do. Thank you.
First, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2021. We all worked very hard to get here, and I'm very proud of every single one of you. Many of you I've known since elementary. I've got the privilege to see each and every single one of you grow. I got, see here I am again. But um, we have achieved many things from awards um, for grades, recognitions for sports, and things outside of school like buying your first car, working your first jobs. Most of you may know me as Ariana, but I do go as Ari. A lot of you may know me as that also. I wasn't as involved in school activities as I would like to have been, but there has never been a day I wasn't involved in many of your guys' lives. That includes teachers, students, lunch staff. I've always asked someone how their day was and hope it got better. I would like to say that there has been many obstacles I've faced in West Carrollton. My freshman year, I didn't start off so hot. I failed a couple classes, was told that if I didn't get my stuff together, I would not gra graduate. Um, I took the advice I was given from my counselors, and now here we are. I've worked very hard these past three years to get where I am. Another obstacle I faced was being diagnosed with a low-grade glioma in my brain. With this diagnosis came chemo treatments, missing school, constantly being tired, always playing catch-up, and it's a hard time in my life, but I thank my teachers for helping me along the way. Although it was tough and I have learned a lot about myself, I'm very strong how I am. After graduation, I plan to pursue a real estate career in Atlanta, Georgia, and be financially independent and my own boss. I don't, um, I don't want to forget that everybody here has put in a lot to how I am and how I carry myself from teachers and from friends, and there's been a lot of relationships that I've built throughout my high school career. Um, after that, I would like to give a couple shout outs to Mr. Houck. He's always made history class very interesting. Mr. Wenger for helping me succeed my math career. If it wasn't for her, I definitely would not be graduating. Um, Ms. Parks and Ms. Babb for helping me catch up when I was out in treatments. And lastly, I couldn't forget one of the best teachers. Um, she had one of the most positive attitudes. She helped me so much in English and she didn't even know. Her teaching was just right. Ms. Mitchell, thank you very much for being a mom and a teacher to many and a smiling face to all. And my advice to the freshmen and sophomore is to be kind. You never know what someone's going through and what their home life is like. West Carrollton High School is a safe haven for some and a place that you can be yourself. So make this the place where you're not afraid to show it. To the upcoming senior class, you guys got it this far. I can't wait to see how hard, how your hard work takes you next year. Thank you. Good morning, those are really good speeches. I hope mine lives up to it. My name is Emma Hallam. First and foremost, I wanna give a big thank you to the West Carrollton staff Throughout the building, the seniors would not be in this gym together if it wasn't for them right now. So some of you may know me and a lot of you probably don't since I went to CTC my junior and senior year. I've been in the school district since kindergarten. It feels so surreal standing in front of you today. Looking back over my high school years, I was not involved in a lot of things. I did orchestra up until 10th grade. I started in sixth grade, but I had to quit because I went to CTC. There I studied pre-nursing, a very difficult and rigorous program. Some of the people around me can attest to that. After your two-year course, you will be tested over your knowledge and skills. In February of this year, I, along with a few seniors around me, earned our STNA State Test and Nursing Assistant Certification. But that's enough about me for now. I only have like five minutes. <laughs> around me is a group of extraordinary and powerful people, a class that has overcome challenges much larger than we expected. Let's give our class of 2021 a round of applause. We are sitting in front of you today because we have worked our butts off for the last four years. High school is not easy and anybody that tells you that it is probably lied to you. But in the end, sitting with your peers, mask on or off, will make it all worth it. Freshmen, you guys just finished your first year here. Give yourselves a pat on the back. But understand that it will get harder from here. Sophomores, you've made it halfway through your high school year. As a reward, you get to sit on the other side of the gym, if you can. <laughs> Next year, you're going to take the ACT or the SAT. Please take it seriously. It could be the sole reason why you don't get into college of your choice. 
Juniors, next year you will have all eyes on you. You will be the new leaders of West Carrollton. Cherish every moment you get together as a class. Take opportunities, opportunities that are in your comfort zone and make memories that will last a lifetime because your senior year will be over before you know it. One last thing that is for every person in this building, you are not alone. When life gets tough, don't be afraid to reach out to someone. Be there for one another because during these times, we're all going through something. Before I address the senior class, I want to give a special thanks to a couple of people. To all the teachers who have been in, been in their classes, thank you for putting up with me and looking out for my future. To the counselors for helping the students to the classes, giving advice and leading us all in the right direction. To the custodians, kitchen staff, our resource officer, coaches, thank you for ensuring that we have activities for our school years and ensuring our safety and health. To our principals and assistant principals, thank you for looking out for all the students and giving us seniors the opportunities we were given this year. I want to say thank you to all the friends I've made over these past 12 years. You have shaped me into the person I am today. Finally, I want to thank my family who pushed me to keep going when the weight got a little too heavy, who guided me when the dark clouds got a little too big, and who never gave up on me even when I really wanted to. I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for you. After high school, I plan to attend the University of Dayton in their Discover Sciences program. From UD, I have earned in total $150,000 in financial aid and scholarships. Take it from me when the time comes, file for your FAFSA. Wrapping this up, I want to end my speech with a message for the class of 2021, my other family. Seniors, we finally did it. We got to a finish line a lot of us didn't think we'd get to. Our journey had a few extra twists and turns along the way, but we guided each other through it all. I'm so beyond grateful to graduate with you all. The memories we've made together will never be forgotten. Next month, our reign at West Carrollton will end and we will replace our crowns with a cap. I can't wait to close this chapter of my life with you all. I'll see you, I'll see you May 27th. And then I'll pass it to Ms. Hafner, who's coming up next. <laughs> I would like to thank all of our student speakers. It's very difficult to get up in front of your peers and speak. Um, it's, it's one of the most difficult things to do. So thank you all and thank you for your thoughtful um, points that you brought out for West Carrollton and your time here. So at this time, you are going to sign your letters of intent. This will be something that you do in mass as a senior class and then it's, you know, just a little over a month, you're going to be turning your tassels as a senior class. So this is kind of the first of many fun things and exciting things as, you're, as, as you will be doing as seniors. So at this time, seniors, please sign your letters of intent. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. All right, as Mr. Iser said, you will sign both, both sheets. You will keep one and you will leave one on the table, please. That is for us to keep. So you keep one, leave one. You will also be able to take your pen. That is your signing day pen. That is yours to keep. When you, we will do, be dismissing you in groups of people so we are not all mobbed up into the auditorium lobby where you will get your cap and gown and your senior sign. So, Mr. Iser, oh. I will let you, I will turn it over to you. So at this time, we're going to do uh, senior superlatives um, and then uh, prom court announcements as well. Hi, I'm Mrs. Earl. We're going to do the senior superlatives, but just a quick note, um, your senior message, which used to be your senior quote, but we kind of upgraded it and gave you some more space. We're going to extend that through Sunday. So if you search my name in your email, you will see a form for me called senior message. That's your message to the senior class, to the school that will go in the yearbook. Make sure you click that link in your email. I will be turning the form off when I come in Monday morning. So you'll get through this weekend to fill that out. Feel free to email me if you can't find it. Okay, at this time we're gonna do senior superlatives. Okay, best dress goes to Seth Sutter. Yeah. 
And second best dress goes to Naomi Gooseby. As she should. And most likely to take over the world goes to Chase Adams. And Ashton Davey. For our best friends, we have Nicole Holland and Grace Hartwick. And we also have Grace Blakely, Becca Petit, and Macy Lovelace. For most likely to win America's Got Talent, we have Bradley Scares and, and Jenna Warner. For Drama Queen, it goes to Lexi Vero. <laughs> and Drama King goes to Shundrick Parker. I mean, I'll take it. Best Glow Up goes to Alec LeBlanc and Kelly Tracy. Okay, the, uh, the Class Clown Awards go to Abukai Kadiri. And Erica Riel. Yeah! And then the Best School Spirit Awards go to Noah Bab. <laughs> and Chad Thoreau. Oh, yeah. Most li likely to get ID'd when they're 30 goes to Keaton Kenderdime. <laughs> and Alexa Carter. And finally, one of a kind goes to Jamal Durden. <laughs> and Amaya Howard. Congratulations. We will do senior superlative photos later. You'll get an email and announcement about when we're going to take those. And now over to Mrs. Fields for prom court. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to announce uh, prom court. We'll start with the juniors. If you'll come down to Mrs. Opperman, she'll give you your sash, and then just line up along the black, the black line. So the first female candidate is Allie Parker, and she will be accompanied by the first male candidate, Chase Hunt. The second female candidate is Heidi Anderson, and she will be accompanied by the second male candidate, Luke Martin. The third female candidate for the juniors is Aubrey Armstrong, and she will be accompanied by the third male candidate, Braxton Fisher. We will now announce the 2021 Senior Prom Court. The first female candidate is Jenna Warner, and she will be accompanied by the first male candidate, Agbakai Kadiri. The second female candidate is Megan Glenn, and she will be accompanied by the second male candidate, Shundrick Parker. <laughs> the 
The third female candidate is Haley Owens, and she will be accompanied by the fourth male candidate, Alec LeBlanc. The fourth female candidate is Kennedy Priest, and she will be accompanied by the fifth male, fourth male candidate, Noah Babb. <laughs> the fifth female candidate is Grace Blakely, and she will be accompanied by the fifth male candidate, Chad Terrell. <laughs> The sixth female candidate is Haley Lorient, and she will be accompanied by the sixth male candidate, Jamal Durden. Congratulations to the 2021 prom court.